Okay, today is January 22nd. This is our good friend Lucas. This is about his seventh, I think, formal training lesson. We're spreading it out over a couple of week period rather than 12 consecutive days. Sarah's dealing with him, and because it's like a Antarctica outside, we're working inside. So what we have is the dog's nice, well-behaved. Leash and collar is always on the dog. Sarah's gonna, notice there's always that natural bow in the leash. And now we're gonna incorporate our trait training. We start doing distractions. I start knocking on the door. Hi, everybody. And Lucas is sitting there very nice. Sarah steps out with her left foot. And she asks the dogs to yield. And the dog stays on her side. Notice that she's relaxed. And we're in a very confined space, but at least you get the idea. When Sarah comes to a stop, the dog will sit automatically. And then she's going to tell the dog to stay, and she's going to pivot out with her right foot. And she's going to step back, and she's going to drop the leash, and she's going to, and she's going to wave and do silly things. I'm going to bang on the door. Hi, and then, and and as we see, he's nicely planted there. So then she's going to be. So this is our stay, and the stay. This means we can invite guests in the house, and the dog isn't getting up. So this is wonderful. Sarah's going to go back to his side and praise him, nice, because that's the reward: physical love. Then she's going to release him by saying, okay, she'll get low. Now he's free to do whatever. But because she has to run out to the beauty parlor, she says to him to go place, and he should... Let's see her. Lucas, go place. Go place. Boy. And this is where he gets his first food. His reward is food. This is the only time food is a reward in his crate. And he stays there until he's released. He can't come in and out on his own volition. He has to come when he's asked to. So this is wonderful. We'll probably go out in the snow and play for a little while now. And we'll get this up online so Gloria can see how her beloved pet is doing. It looks like he may have lost a pound or two, but don't worry, that's only because of his activity level. So that's good filming for today. And notice again, we, we, this is our living room. There's all kinds of activity. People can come in and they can do things and we can squeak and throw things. I can't squeak. I can throw toys. Uh, uh, and he can't come out. Lucas, leave it. Get back. And we teach him to do this. Because he can't come out until Sarah gives the magic word. Go ahead, Sarah. Okay, Lucas. Okay. And because I'm here, he's a little bit afraid. She helps him out. Good boy. Good boy, Lucas. Good boy. And if you hear her, her verbal praise is important. Because he's always, because he's new at the training, he's got to decide if he's making good decisions. So she's just going to help him out a little. And she does, so, so this is all important. Notice she touches him all over. Um, she's, she's playing with his neck and everything. Very physical. There's no snapping. There's, there has no, not been, is that right, Sarah? No incidences of snapping, nothing like that. And we manhandle him, even in the tub. A lot of touch, 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 because that was one of his problems, touch. Now, obviously, if a dog has an ear infection and he snaps, that's appropriate. Sarah's doing a great job. One more time into the crate. Lucas, go place. That's it. Oh, Wonderful retreat. So this is our ritual. It doesn't deviate. And when he leaves here, he's going to have this down to a science. And we're done filming for today. Wonderful.